here to the community, and the community responds by treating you like a regular mayor. How have you managed to maintain your local focus and commitment? Just a regular guy. So, you know, the thing is, people treat you, if they only see you uh, on a stage at Radio City Music Hall, they treat you like you're a big deal. And for one night, you get to be a big deal. But I'll tell you something. I'm going to go home. I have things that I have to do tomorrow. But, uh, Saturday, I'm going to be home. And my wife's going to be there. And she's going to say, walk the dog and empty the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> immediately, your feet go back on the floor where you are. We lived in, in, in a community. We, we lived in Bangor uh, since... Uh, 1979, which means that we have one other uh, set of neighbors on the street who have lived there longer than we have, but they're senile and they don't remember us. <laughs> 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 don't you see what I mean? So, and otherwise, it's been a complete turnover. So we have um, seniority without having senile majority. <laughs> so we've been around, people know us, gotten used to us, that you get past the point where, you know, they say familiarity breeds contempt, and uh, before it breeds contempt, it just breeds neighborliness, and that's the nice thing about living in a small town, but, um, and that, that's where we live, we live in a neighborhood, we have a nice green parlor around one corner, and a forest mm -hmm. around the other corner, and I like it fine, that's, that's where we live, it's, it's like, the village that, that you, you write about in, in the Harry Potter books, and it's like the towns that, that John writes about in, in a lot of the New England settings, and it, 